Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Fostex MR8 digital multi-track recorder. Now I bought my MR8 back in 2003 and since then it's been a real workhorse. To this day I still use it quite frequently. I've used it for numerous projects over the years. I've used it for countless songs, remixes, podcasts, you name it. It's a true workhorse that I would strongly recommend. Now you can record on this machine with normal or extended mode. And it goes without saying, if you use normal mode for recording, you're going to eat up more space on your compact flash card. If you use extended mode, you take up much less space. There are seven sliders on the front of the machine. Basically, there's a, tr a slider for each track, one, two, three, and four. They each have their own individual sliders. You have a slider for tracks five slash six, another slider for tracks seven slash eight, and then finally you have a master slider to control the overall volume. Now, this brings up my first complaint about the Fostex MR8. Something I've noticed, when you fade out a particular track, when you want to bring down the volume on any of the tracks, I find that it doesn't fade out gently. The fade out is very abrupt. What I mean by that, if you can imagine on the slider that the volume at the very top is 100 and the bottom at the very bottom of the slider is zero, representing total silence, when you bring down the slider, once it hits a 10, it basically jumps to zero. The fade out is extremely abrupt. And that's one thing about this machine that always annoyed me. Maybe they corrected that on later models, but certainly on this earlier model, I find the fade outs on each slider it doesn't happen very gently, it happens very abruptly, but so be it. You prime each track by pushing the button above the slider. The button will start to blink, indicating that the track is ready to be recorded on. And once you start recording, that blinking red light becomes solid. You can do bounce with this machine. It's a really great feature of this machine and very useful. One a feature that I've used many times over the years. You can bounce tracks one to four over to track five slash six. And you can also choose to bounce tracks one to six over to track seven slash eight. There are pan controls, but the only for tracks one, two, three, and four. There is also effect send for tracks one, two, three, and four. And the effects include room, hall, plate, and delay. Now, I'm not a huge user of these built-in effects. Uh, delay is quite nice. I do use that from time to time. Uh, hall is kind of nice, but overall I tend to prefer using outboard effects when I record. Uh, the included effects are okay, but certainly not excellent by any means. There is a mic simulation feature. You have three different mic simulations. You have dynamic, condenser, and tube. There's also an amp simulation. Now, I'm not really a guitarist. I tend to be more of a keyboardist, but if you are a guitarist, you might find this quite useful. There are three different amp simulations, British Stack, US Metal, and 60s Combo. For inputs, there are two balanced XLR inputs and two unbalanced quarter inch inputs. There's also a trim for each input. There's also a guitar distortion feature, which is very nice. Even if you're not a guitarist like me, that distortion can come in really handy sometimes on various keyboard sounds and also sometimes on vocals. It's a really good quality distortion as well. For outputs, you have two stereo quarter inch outs and also two headphone jacks, which is great. It's something I really love about the MR8 because if there are two people, perhaps someone is singing and someone is playing an instrument, they can both listen to the mix with their own individual headphones, which is great. There's also built-in mastering. You have three mastering settings. You have powerful, natural, and bright. I don't really use these mastering settings. Again, they're kind of neat, and maybe you, if you have the MR8, find them quite useful. I don't tend to use them myself, but that's my own preference. At the bottom, you have typical controls. You have a record button, stop, play, rewind, and fast forward. Power is 12 volt. You can also run this machine with batteries. It takes six AA batteries. Now, word of warning, if you do need to use batteries, do not use alkaline. Uh, one time I made the mistake of using alkaline batteries in this machine. They were dead within 10 minutes. 
if you must use lithium, I would strongly suggest using lithium uh, if you do need to use batteries in this machine. There's a switch for the light on the display. You can turn the light on for the display screen if you need to. It would be very useful in low light situations, maybe if you're recording at night, or you can choose not to have the light on on the display. There is a USB out so you can easily connect to a laptop. It's very easy to transfer WAV files from the MR8 to your laptop or vice versa. There's also a foot switch and there's also a digital out. Now, this brings up my second complaint about the Fostex MR8. You can only use the digital out with a Toslink cable. You can only use the digital out if you record in normal mode. If you record in extended mode, you can't use it. That's just a little complaint. I wish they hadn't engineered this machine that way, but basically the digital out is completely useless if you happen to record in extended mode. On the side, there is a MIDI out. I have never used this feature. If anyone out there has the MR8 and has used the MIDI out, please leave a comment. Let us know how it works. Let us know if it's something that you use frequently or not at all. The machine uses compact flashcards. Now, if you buy an earlier model like the one I have, it would only take flashcards up to one gigabyte in size. If you wanted to use a card larger than one gigabyte, you had to download a software update off the internet. Overall, I give this machine a huge thumbs up. I love the red color of the outside of the unit. It's very distinctive. It's very easy to use. It's easy to transfer files to and from your PC. It also has a built-in microphone, which makes this machine very very portable if you're the type of person who wants to take a recorder to the cottage for the weekend or if you're going on a trip out of town and you want a, a little sketchbook to somehow catch your ideas this machine would be great for that it's simple intuitive and easy to use and I've noticed that the cost on these tabletop multi-trackers have really come down. Back in 2003, I can't remember the exact price I paid for this, but I'm sure it was well over $400, quite expensive. I've noticed that now you can practically buy a 24 track machine for almost that same price. So the cost has really come down. So that's my review of the Fostex MR8 Digital Multi-Tracker. If you see one secondhand, give it a shot. If you're the type of person like me who prefers multi-track recording on a tabletop unit rather than with a software program on your PC, this is for you. Again, very simple, very fun, very easy to use. That's my review of the MR8. Please leave us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. We post new videos every week. So if you want to see more tech reviews like this one, please subscribe. You'll see in a few seconds, you'll see in the bottom right corner, the round circular brown logo for Tech and Tea with the little teacup. Click on that and you'll be able to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care, bye-bye.